I've asked uh, Coach Parker to come to the microphone tonight and um, discuss uh, some plans we have to make some changes in middle school football. And I'm very pleased and very excited about these opportunities and, and very much appreciate Coach Parker taking responsibility uh, to get this project going for us. Coach? Thank you. Um, you know, it's not very often I, or get to is a better word, it's not very often I get to come here to see you guys. So. Um, it's been a little over a year since I've been here, and let me just say, you know, to Tommy, to Ms. McDonald, to all the guys on the board, Dr. Depper, you know, we've really been pleased with the support we get. It's, you know, I've been a lot of places, so um, really exciting to be here, and you guys do a lot for us, and we really do appreciate you. Probably don't tell you enough, but being that it's um, school board appreciation week or whatever, that worked out really nice. Um, what we're trying to do at the middle school level, you know, in dealing with some of the issues that we have had dealt to us, whether it's with people retiring or, um, you know, uh, just a decrease in the amount of teaching allotments or whatever, we're, we're going to have to do something different with middle school football anyway. And what our proposal is to do um, is to combine the two schools into one. Dawson County actually um, do their board meeting in February approved to uh, combine their two middle schools into one football team. Uh, not with the other sports, that's for somebody else to decide. But with football being as expensive as it is and um, most of the teams that they play in are people who have combined middle schools in Gilmer County, Fayette County, those places. Um, so we'd like to take both middle schools, put them on one team, and, and we tried to talk to over the last couple months. I've talked to pretty much everyone I could think of that was a you know a, a major stakeholder in um, those two middle schools, whether it's administration and coaches there, or some of the parents that have been very involved and. Um, didn't, you know, got a lot of good feedback on a lot of things, but really nothing negative on it other than the biggest negative we would see was, you know, losing some players' opportunity to compete. And, and, and what we wanted to do with that was was create some seventh grade games where we want our seventh graders to play a few separate games or we want our eighth graders to play. And, you know, just create an environment where it's it's very, um, it's cost efficient. We'll save some money through, um, you know, less buses, less officials, gatekeepers, things like that. Um, we could have, you know, maybe at least one less supplement based on what we do with two schools. And, you know, and also be an opportunity for me and our staff to kind of streamline and have a little more, um, you know, a little more say over, I guess, what happens down there and a little more supervised, being that everybody goes through one group. We bring them up through the JYSA programs um, by age group. You know, there's a five-year-old team all the way up to 11 and 12, and then we split them up at the middle schools. and. You know, that would be great if we had the revenue and the resources to do that, but, but it's becoming increasingly true that we don't. So, um, you know, we really think this is a great opportunity to really build our programs through the JYSA to the middle school, to the high school, with, with our staff supervising that and, and um, working with their booster club through our booster club and working with their principals and their coaches and, and um, creating a, what we feel like is a very streamlined, organized group that, that ultimately I'll be responsible for so um, a lot more work for me, maybe less work for a lot of other people. Um, but we're but I look forward to that. I think it's um, something that'll help our program. And, um, you know, there's a lot of logistical things that have to be worked out on this, and we tried to actually put a lot of that off until we, you know, made sure it's something we could do when we feel like it's really a good idea and feel like something that with the options we have in front of us is something we need to do. And so uh, now we'll move forward with. You know, having parent meetings, um, you know, dealing with the smaller logistical things of, you know, practices and uniforms and whatever. But um, we'll be open to any suggestions or questions that people have. Um, like I said, I've talked to probably 15 or 20 parents and then given them all the opportunity to call me back with any questions or concerns they had and, and really haven't received any feedback that was negative. You know, everybody felt like if we give their son an opportunity to play, you know, as a sixth grader, maybe through the JYSA, as a seventh grader on a team that would play some just seventh grade games, as an eighth grader on the eighth grade team, we created a ninth grade team last year through the help of you guys. We were able to create a ninth grade team that just had ninth graders, you know, and then they played JV, and a lot of the tenth graders are JV players. And so, you know, you, you're giving them a lot more chance to play. And, and I don't, we like to win at that level, we really do, but more importantly, we like to give them opportunity to play. And I think this will kind of streamline that and be a good be a good thing for us. So if anybody has concerns, you know, please please let me know. I'll be glad to address any concern anybody has. If they have any questions, you. contact you, Chris, or uh, Dr. Lemieux, Al, or both on board and understanding can 
maybe get help specifically on some questions about their schools. Yeah, please do. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it so much. I would like to say one thing about this <coughs> proposal, and that is I think that a lot of the businesses in the community will really appreciate the fact that there won't be so many different people coming to them, asking them to support football programs at three different schools, though, because in the proposal it has it to where there'll only be one touchdown club actually going out and soliciting help for the football team, which I think will tremendously help out some of our businesses in the area. I'm really excited about the high school involvement. Uh, the, you know, our middle school folks do a great job and, and are very committed, uh, but, but having the tie-in with the program at the high school uh, is going to be, a, I think, a, a better quality product, if I can say it that way, to, uh, <coughs> when we get to the high school level. They're going to already have that contact with the coaches. There's a lot of drop off, y'all, you know, being a middle school principal for a lot of years. I can tell you, there's a lot of kids that get lost sometimes in that transition. And I'm worried about our children when they, you know, making that transition anyway. And I think this way, when they already know who Coach Parker is or, or one of his assistants and already have that conduct, the contact, that they'll stay involved. And I think it's important for kids to be involved, whatever they choose to be, but to stay involved at the high school level. And once again, I appreciate, Chris, the effort that you're going through to make this happen for us. Thank you.